Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, I got a pretty cool bottle. I say cool because uh, it was gifted to the channel from a legendary Tater Dom. I really appreciate you, brother. Uh, got to meet him at uh, one of my favorite uh, establishments that uh, sell these nice awesome spirits uh, but uh, yeah we met up there we, we talked for a little bit and uh, we I was looking at this bottle he ended up getting one and then he said you know what I'm gonna gift uh, the channel a bottle as well really appreciate you for that bro uh, they normally run between 65 and 70 dollars uh, the earlier versions are around fifty dollars so there is a, a price increase maybe because of the labeling before uh, this nice green label that they put on it uh, before that um, what they used to use was this because this is a single barrel too but uh, it's a little bit different uh, obviously there's no uh, paper label on the front and I'm sorry if my light over there is reflecting and then of course the, the label on the back is uh, like a tan so same story same information on it um, this juice on here I don't know if the label is is creating a, a little bit different color to it but it's uh, it's causing it to look a little darker than the original or the previous years um, single barrel but uh, this one right here is uh, looks very uh, very nice a uh, little bit darker in color so I'm excited to taste this one uh, we already know about the whole uh, John J Bowman uh, family and how uh, Colonel Bowman uh, trekked to uh, Kentucky and he did uh, kind of trying to evaluate, trying to explore the area of Kentucky, he, uh, certain areas in Kentucky, and then uh, moved his family there in 1779. Um, you could look at uh, when I did uh, one of these bottles, I forgot which one, but uh, you can uh, hear a little bit more about the story of, of the Bowmans and, and how they, they moved out there. This is a Sazerac uh, company uh, bottle, so related to Buffalo Trace and they're saying that this mash bill is mash bill one from Buffalo Trace just twice or triple distilled is the is the difference between uh, this and then your other uh, mash bill ones which is your Eagle Rare and then well even Eagle Rare uh, 17 and then your E.H. Taylor um, bottle so um, so I've, I've been excited to, to, to taste this. This is at a hundred proof. Uh, says it's a limited edition, so that's that's pretty cool. I, I didn't know that these were uh, limited editions. This one doesn't have that moniker on there. It just says single barrel, and on this one it says limited edition. So I didn't realize. I uh, wish I would have uh, saw anything that said why it's a why it is a. So it says hand selected at peak maturity by our master distiller, Brian uh, Prewitt. So uh, maybe that's why, because this one doesn't say that. So maybe that's the difference. So I'll, I'll do some more research on this, which doesn't sound good for the channel for me to say that out loud, but I was thinking it and then it came out my mouth and I was like, what, what, what? can't pull it back now. I guess I could redo the video, but then who cares? <laughs> I'm just here to taste the whiskey, but uh, yeah. Uh, so this is at a hundred proof. I, I, I've been I've been smelling it for for a little bit right here. Man, the aroma is really nice, really rich. It does coat the glass fairly well, uh, especially for a for a hundred hundred proofer. Um, uh, not to say that it can't be rich and uh, and uh, coating, uh, but I like to see that in in a lighter proof whiskey. Um, Really nice, really nice. You get that sweet, nice caramels uh, on the nose. Uh, I, I just just jumped right into it, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna try to steam right through this because I I actually uh, poured this one just in case I wanted to try to see if there was any similarities or differences in between the two. 
these are believed to be uh, between nine and nine and ten year old whiskeys in here. So that's pretty awesome. But I guess if you're um, maybe using the same mash bill as as um, uh, Eagle Rare, that it's going to be around that age. I wonder if the E.H. Taylors, at minimum anyways, for the bottle and bonds, because most E.H. Taylors, unless you're going to get the uh, barrel proof, they're going to be uh, they're going to be uh, bottle and bonds. So they could range in rate in, in age. So really nice, uh, sweet caramel vanilla I got some some toffee and sometimes I get those mixed up between toffee and caramel really nice really airy uh, looks looks like it's gonna be pretty coating I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this cheers everybody appreciate you hit the like button uh, hit subscribe if you haven't which is weird leave a comment tell me if you've had the new 2023 version of the single barrel if you've had the old one of the single barrel and if you had them both tell me what you think of uh, both of them Appreciate that. And uh, thank you uh, to the Patreons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tater Dom again. I'm a, I'm a, my mouth is starting to water. I got to go ahead and get in on this. <sighs> really nice. Really nice. Has a little bit of a floral effect. Got some cinnamon on, uh, uh, on the palate because when I just breathed it in right now, I got a little bit of a cinnamon taste on my nut, on my palate and I haven't even tasted it. Wow, this actually drinks slightly, slightly over a uh, hundred proof. Really nice in flavor. Again, really coating. Uh, it really comes in in uh, really rich in flavor. Really nice, really nice. I really like um, how how it coats. Uh, getting some of that cinnamon that I was uh, that I got when I whipped it. <laughs> And it, it felt like it was on my palate already, and it's now it's it's there. You get some nice cinnamons, that vanilla, that caramel. I would maybe go towards more towards the toffee, uh, toffee taste, uh, toffee flavor, um, kind of almost like a peanut brittle. I won't. I, I'm not saying there's peanut on there, but that that peanut, the brittle, that toffee portion of it, really nice. Getting uh, uh, some of that wood influence, uh, probably from the age of it being nine to ten years old, possibly. But overall, really nice. I'm gonna go in for another drink, real taste, real quick. It does linger. I didn't have to take an, another drink to see where it was going. But man, on that this second drink right here, the scent, the second taste. It is really, really nice. I really like this one. I'm curious to know uh, what, excuse me, what this one's gonna taste like. Hmm. I wonder if I need to cleanse my palate first. Let me, let me do that. All right. Oop, that broke off. So, Overall, really nice in flavor. Really, I, I'll find out right now whether or not it's worth that $15 jump because this was $50 and this one was $65 to $70. So maybe even possibly a, a $20 jump on this one. So let's check it out. Whoa, got these little nice fancy glasses. Not Doesn't have my logo on it or anything, but really nice. It does coat the glass just as, just as, nice as this one does so I'm gonna say this one has a little bit more um, more of an aroma a little bit more uh, thicker aroma richer aroma if you will <laughs> this one is a little bit more candied a little bit more lighter This one is a little more corn forward. Uh, this one had a little bit more candy, even though on the nose it was a little lighter candy type aroma. This one is a this one has a little bit a little bit more of a richer feel to it. Well, this one has 
more of a corn based flavor profile very different uh, in my opinion yeah a little bit more cinnamon on this one where this one again a little bit softer in tone where this one is, is does overpower even though they're both 100 proof this one 100 proof this one 100 proof so amazingly enough this is this I, I'm, I'm actually gravitating towards this one as far as flavor even though this one right here if you like like that rich cornbread a little bit of honey type flavor to it you're you're gonna get that in this single barrel this one right here I don't think you get the cornbread as much as you do uh, some of those uh, toffees uh, the, the oat char and stuff like that uh, to uh, to the whiskey and it just overpowers it just a little bit with a whole different flavor a little more creamier than this one again this one seems younger for some reason I'm pretty sure that they're the same age I'm gonna take another drink of water real quick Why do you ask? Am I gonna drink another some, some another sip of water? Because they said that E. H. Taylor is uh, the same mash bill. So let's let's see whether or not this single barrel, if this single barrel has anything on this single barrel. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it see what it tastes like here. Yeah, but there we go. Really nice, really rich too. Really, uh, really does stick to the side of the glass. Really nice. A little bit more airy, kind of like this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in on this one. Cheers, everybody. Wow. <laughs> okay. This one has um, a lot of everything that's in this, the caramel. It's very sweet. Got that, that toffee in there, just like this one does. This one does seem a little lighter in the glass, but it, this, this glass is a little bit wider. So this, the aroma is two different, it's like two different things. Again, this is triple, two to two, three times uh, triple distilled. Um, and this one right here, I'm pretty sure it isn't. So I'll have to look up whether or not it is a, a double distilled or triple distilled. It just says distilled and aged. So yeah, bottled and bond. So this is this was held in government facilities and but I don't know it doesn't say what the age is on these hmm again a little bit more candy on on the on the taste just like this one has more candy this one has more corn um, if I had to choose between the two I might go with this one, the single barrel, um, the John J. Bowman, the, the 2023 version. It just has a lot more richness to it. Um, I know these right here are um, hard to find, and this one may be hard to find too. Um, I just stumbled across it, but um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say for, for my buck, for my dollar, for my search, if I was going to, uh, between the two, I would probably go with the John J. Bowman. I mean, you can't go wrong either way because it's from the same mash bill. I just think whatever they did to make this a little bit richer in tone, a little bit richer in flavor, um, it has that, that oakiness on the, on the back end it is just, it's just a nice, sweet oakiness that stays behind. It's really flavorful. Uh, don't get me wrong this is the same way but it does have a little bit of a floral note uh to attach to it not a bad floral note it's still a sweet type floral note but um overall i prefer 
the way this one is coming off of now. So, um, but that's just at this moment. It could change uh, day to day, what you eat, all that other stuff. So, yeah. So that's that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the single barrel, if you can find it, I think it's. I think because of the similar price points, I I think this one is a winner right here. This one is a really nice nice flavor. I think this one ain't bad. If you like that younger corn type flavor to it, profile to it, does have some wood influences, does have some uh, sweet influences too, but more of a honey type cornbread type thing. Well, this one again, just encompasses that in a little bit more with the toffee and the candy on the palate. This one on the nose is a little bit airy, a little more candy on the nose, which is weird, but it, that's the way it worked out for me. This one also is airy. It does have, a, again, starts off a little floral. That's where I was getting on the tongue too. But overall, it's still sweet, really nice. Uh, you can't go wrong if you find this at MSRP. Grab it. Easily grab it. Um, this one right here, if you see it at MSRP, grab it. Easily grab it. And if you still see these on the shelves, grab it because they're changing, they're changing the labels. So might as well grab it and just uh, have it uh, for... Uh, posterity <laughs> it's up to you though um but remember to always drink responsibly have some water uh at, with you uh while having a pour of whiskey or anything else that you like to uh to have and um i don't know be safe out there love you guys thank you for your support and um have a good morning afternoon good night whatever time you're watching this and i'll see you on the next one really appreciate you guys have a great night or morning or afternoon. Cheers.